by row two, and suddenly we have two viewers. Do people just care a lot more about uh, Spyro than Crash? Let me boot up the emulator again. And as I've mentioned several times on any stream we do emulators for, I have all of these games in the classic versions. But uh, we've moved to emulators, well, I've moved to emulators for a lot of these older ones, specifically between a certain point. NES has the issue of the, you know, you have to fight the game to get it working, blow in it, toggle it, wiggle it, st you know, stuff like that. No one wants to do that. SNES has been generally okay. N64 has saved batteries, and those run dry. So uh, those have, those have been dying. I can no longer play, uh, okay, there we go. Come on, analog on. Why is it off by default? Who? Why, why would it ever be off? There's no reason to have analog off. Like, if you don't want to use analog, just don't use the sticks. Use the D-pad. Oh, this is a little bit, uh, this is a little bit quieter. A little quieter than Crash is. Okay, so, oh, whoops, hold on. Silly me. We're not playing Crash anymore. There we go, that's better. Look at that grin. So we're playing, we're playing cleanup. I'm actually just, uh, I'm coming in here without Jack. I didn't tell him about this, but I know he won't mind. To, uh, I'm going to clean out the fir the summer forest, the first area, because we've now finished with all the levels and all the orbs in summer forest. So Jack doesn't have any reason to go back there, but I am going to clean up all the gems. So if we stay on top of this, we might just be able to do the all gems ending at the end of it after all. So let's uh, double check our guidebook. Make sure that we have all the orbs and things. Forgot how many levels. There are a lot of six levels. Okay. And crush. Okay, so just gotta just gotta go on a gem hunt. That's all we're doing. So now you get to see me play Spyro and not Jack, who uh, struggles with the controls a little bit. I like to charge a lot more. I like to move quickly. Just literally a treasure hunt. Oh, what was I talking about? I was talking about games dying. N64 had saved batteries, so those are dying. My Kirby 64 no longer saves. My Bomberman Hero no longer saves. So I cannot play those games in anything but a single session on the N64. Unless I go in and solder new batteries to them, which I've done for my Pokemon games on the Game Boy, but it's such a pain to do. it. And even then, they're just gonna die again eventually. So, especially in cases like, uh, NES and Game Boy Classic where the emulation is pretty much just, you know, perfect at this point. Why not just emulate? If it grants me a version of Pokemon that has infinite save life, why not, right? And I mean, granted, I have that on... Now I have that on Virtual Console. So I have an official uh, emulated Game Boy series. And I haven't bought... I haven't bought much else besides Pokemon on Virtual Console, chiefly because you have to buy it on every system individually, which is stupid. I really wish Nintendo would just adopt the uh, Steam model of you buy it once, you have it available for download forever. And I would, I would rebuy pretty much my entire Nintendo library if I knew that I could just have the digital copy forever on whatever digital on whatever Nintendo device I might get down the line. But I'm not going to rebuy the collection every time they release a new system. That's just silly, sir. Preposterous. Ludicrous. 
So uh, Nintendo is not getting my money because of that. One day maybe they'll see the see the light and get my money again for things besides Pokemon, which I am giving them my money for. That and the between that and the YouTube stuff. Just holy crap, Nintendo is so resistant to change or any idea that isn't theirs is the bottom line, I think. Come on, you can climb now. Go on, good boy. Go on up, Spyro. Go on up, Tom Kenny. Uh oh. Give you a little flutter. Happy little flutter. PS1, obviously, any disc-based systems don't have save batteries like cartridges do. So I don't have to worry about the problem I do for uh, Game Boy games and N64 that I do for discs. But that said, the discs have started to die for uh, PS1. So I sometimes get uh, read errors on not too many, a couple of my PS1 games. And a couple of them maybe just don't read as well as they used to. Ah, Spyro, come on. This last area. This is where Jack got lazy. This is where all the gems are hiding. I've had issues with a couple of PS1 games. And at least one of them that I got that never worked. Da -da -da -da. Okay, there we go. So, hub world complete. Now we're off to the levels. Croc 1 being the big one. I, uh, maybe I played Croc 1 once after getting it used, and it just, it never worked again after that. So, uh, that's not happening on disc. And that's pretty much where I call it, is the... PS2 and onward, I haven't had any major disc issues yet. It's getting there. I think the PS2 will probably get there somewhat soon. Like, within the next five years. And I don't know how, uh... I don't know how solid PS2 emulation is at the moment. I know that there were technical difficulties with letting PS3 play PS2 games because I think it was that the discs spun in the opposite direction was like the big thing. I'm not positive. But, uh, like computer emulation. I know GameCube emulation is coming along real far. People have gotten that down to pretty much spot on as far as I'm aware. Which I'm sure has something to do with the, uh, the cult status of many GameCube games. A lot of good GameCube games, and not a lot of ways to get them. They have not, there's no GameCube virtual console, so, uh, a lot of people turn to GameCube emulation. Oh, I'm sorry. Need more, uh, need more souls to power the soul portal. Look how long that guy takes to hit. And Jack gets hit by these guys. I know Jack's gonna watch this at some point. So, I shouldn't get too mean. Maybe it'll be years later. Maybe he'll have, uh, maybe he'll have evolved into a sick Pro Spyro speedrunner. He fell in love with the series. So no more control issues. And he's gonna go look back at his old footage and just laugh. That's the ideal situation. More likely, we'll finish the stream and he'll just never touch a Spyro game again. That's that's what I'm predicting. Which, to be fair, there's not a lot for the series after the first three games. I mentioned that in the Crash stream I just did that uh, Wrath of Cortex, the first Crash PS2 game, was 
not very original. It was a ripoff of Crash Warped, but it, still, it wasn't bad. It played well, for the most part. The first Spyro game on PS2 was abysmal. I've tried on several attempts to really put my nose to the grindstone, and I'm going to play through this game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to at least beat it if I don't 100% it. And I've never managed it. I've never been able to... Not, not, not only have I never managed it, I've never made it past the first world. The first attempt, I think I got into the first level and gave up somewhere in the first level. The second attempt, I beat the first level. I think I got to the second level before stopping. It's th The controls are that bad. It's one of those games where... Uh, you can't just turn the way you want it. You can't just immediately walk the way you want to go. Like, if I'm standing this way and I put left, the character has to take the time to rotate. Slowly rotate before he'll move in that, in that direction. Which I think Croc did as well. And even that was not nearly as atrocious as, uh, as Spyro was. Spyro 4. So yeah, even before getting the ladder, you could at least, you could get up here and get all the gems. You noticed the, uh, the timer suddenly got fast once we got inside the cave. So, uh, they did make it so that you can't get to the other portal. As far as I'm aware, I don't think you can. But, you can at least get the gems in there. You can get to that ledge. I see people are coming and going in the chat. I wonder if they're seeing me and not Jack and just immediately leaving. Or maybe just restream chat is crap when it comes to showing audience members. Maybe I have people now. I don't know. If you're here, hi. Alright, did we miss anything in here? Are there gems about? There be treasure around here? Nope. Okay, enjoy your... Uh, Enjoy your fun switch puzzle, guy. Bob the Builder. Oh, right. The Tiki's are the bad guys. Silly me, I tried to torch the green men. Gotta kill all the enemies, because, uh, oh, wait, no, I guess in this one you don't. In the first game, enemies were gems. In this one, they're just soul particles. So you never get gems from the enemies. Norks were much more profitable than whatever the hell these guys are. I can't feed my kids on souls. Where the gems at? Alright. Break her down. Come on. Move it. You didn't move it. Oh, can I not? Are these guys flame proof? That's okay. He hit himself. He felt repentant. I'm gonna guess that it's in the uh, Hula Girl area that most of these gems are missing. We went through this spot a l uh, many times. Nope, don't care. Avoiding your cutscenes. I don't want to talk to any of you. Got the 
the gems there. And Hula Girls area. Nope, not talking to you. Being extra thorough, looking everywhere. I'm a little surprised at how uh, how often Spike, the purple dragon from My Little Pony, is coming up while we're playing this. Not because, I mean, there's obviously similarities. They're like baby dragon motherfuckers. But, uh, you know, not a lot of people are uh, too keen on admitting that they watch the show. And I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't care what anyone thinks. I don't, I'm not a super zealot about it. I'm not gonna go, gonna go on about how it's the greatest thing ever, but uh, yeah, I watch it. And I've uh, gotten Jack to watch My Little Pony recently. And we're going through it. So that's been happening. In addition to our other all our other animated shows, we, we watch we watch a little bit of everything. Japanese and American and Chinese and a little bit of Australian in there. A little bit of everything. Oh, and French. Code Lyoko. Haven't watched Wakfu. Inter interested in Wakfu. That is also French. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Code Lyoko is French. I've watched. I've watched Persepolis, which is a uh, French animated film that is... Probably the most well-known animated French thing around is Persepolis. <clears throat> There's a... Oh, what have I watched? I've watched a movie called The House, I think it was called. That was Chinese. <coughs> but I don't... I think it was Chinese. I think that was probably the only Chinese animation I've watched off the top of my head. I've watched plenty of American animation that has to do with China, like Jackie Chan Adventures and Shaolin Showdown. Do it. Sing it. Sing it, brother! That iconic voice clip. That's iconic to me. I don't know about anyone else. Surely other people who played Spyro remember that voice clip well. It's like, when I think of Mystic Chance, two things come to mind. That, and you mo gui gui fai di tsao. Which is uncle from Jackie Chan Adventures. <coughs> Shotgun. Come here, goat. I can outcharge you. Where's the gems? Where the cash at? I got I, I got to talk to them on this level or they I can't move. I can't get around without them. God, I hate being indebted to NPCs. Why can't they be inconveniences like the other NPCs? Instead of hard obstacles to my progress. God damn it. My shotgun was still reloading. Yeah, yeah, vegetarian, kill the yeti, kill the yeti, kill the yeti. Oh, what's down here? Hello. Is this a circuit? No? Just, uh, I guess this is just to let you know that that path exists? Maybe? Whatever. Yep, die. Be dead. He's dead. I got your talisman. Okay, that's nice. Buddha, please. Buddha, please. Still love this music track. Pretty sure. Did I just hear the dragon noise from Spyro 1? What was that? I could swear I heard a rumbling dragon statue. No 
gems out here. Not on the rink. Alright, must be on the rooftops. That's where we're going next. To the rooftops. We're going to, uh... We're gonna Sly Cooper this shit. No? Nothing here? Ah, uh, too high? Can I get up there? Can I? Please? Spyro? I can. Good jumper. Good jumping for a quadruped. Good job. You're proud of yourself, Spike. Alright, up we go. Oh, come on. Spyro, plus. I mean, no, what? Perfect controls. I don't struggle with them at all. No no way, no how. Does exactly what I tell him to do. Here's a couple stragglers. Is that it? Nope. So there's more. Okay. Oh, hello, more. Still more. All right. Off, uh, off this way. Did we got something down here. I know there's a rocket down here. Did we get the rocket? We did. Oh, Spyro, no. Well, it's okay. At least I unlocked fast travel. By means of the springs all over the level. Here we go. Great wall. Great wall of uh, Budapest. Love that monument. No? Well, where are you? Gems! Gems! I saw, I think I saw a sparkle up there. Back to the rooftops. Come on, Sly. Come on, not Sly. Gotta go higher rooftops. More roof. We need more roof. Hello? Jams? Jams? No? No. Hmm. Alright, I have one more idea where they might be. One little notion, an inkling. Oh, uh, this is risky, though. If I'm wrong... Can I jump up here? I think there might be something behind there, but... I'd like to be sure before jumping blindly. I guess it doesn't matter what... How many gems do I have? I'm missing a fiver. No, nothing back there. Okay, so I just gotta track down a lone purple gem somewhere. Oh, that'll be fun and easy. Okay, idea. Maybe it's around here. Maybe it fell out. No, it didn't fall out of the thing. Hmm. Okay. I didn't check the professor's room thoroughly. Let me go in there. Don't mind me, ghastly. Continue your haunting. I don't mind. You can torment the professor all you like. Here? No. Nothing up there. So many portions of Great Wall. I'm a little bit at a loss. I'm really not sure. like the dude from Idiocracy. Wait, over here maybe? I see a little bit of land. No? Nothing. Hmm. Well, we've met the first challenge of the evening. I'll check down here. 
That is accounted for. I checked the Mystic Tower room, but I guess I'm just going to check again. As if they have proper names. The Mystic Tower room. Come on, Spyro. Get up there. Oh, hello. It was hiding in a pot. I needed to seek the pot. In a vase. Smashing vase. Auto saving. Save complete. Alright, what's next on our list? Our hit list. Is there one more in this area? I don't believe there is. Is there? We went there. And we went in there. So I guess we're we're on our way. Alright, up here. Come on, Spyro. We've got three more levels. We've got Puracos and Sunny Beach and Aquaria Towers. Oh, Aquaria Towers is going to be fun, I say sarcastically. I have to go through the whole level in order to fill it up again before anything. And then... Oh, the Tom Kenny level. Then I have to go over and scour the entire thing in all three dimensions because it's an underwater level. And everyone loves odd underwater levels, if you'll remember from Crash. Oh, it could be anywhere. How, what am I missing? How many? Uh, 16. So there could be, there could be a few stragglers just scattered around the place. I see oh I see a couple stragglers. I see them up there. And I see a way up to them. This was a spot that was missed. Is this is this all of them? Is there 12 in here? I'm missing two. Okay. Two or four. Two, I think. That, that's okay. That's not a problem. We can do this. Two, right? Yeah, two. Okay, so we were... This was the level that we were most thorough on. Ow. Not the best turn radius when he's charging. Gems. Hello. Come to Papa. I don't know. I can't really do a, uh, a parody a parody Sonic or Spyro voice because they're already they're already kind of parodies I guess but they're also not trying to be parodies so if I do them I can't tell if I'm being a parody or not does that make sense am I just weird or should I just accept that all Sonic voices are meme voices and go yeah chili dogs and that that's it that's the Sonic impression that's the voice Were there ever any gems here? Maybe this part was just devoid of gems. Well, I covered my bases. Back to the back to the uncivilized part of the level. Back to steampunk. Hello, friend. I like how the robots have souls. And I'm taking them. Their souls. Alright, Gems. I know there are two of you left out there. Are you back here? Are you hiding, Gems? No? Oh, his, his corpse! His corpse saved the robot briefly. Robot, please. Camera, please. Everything, please. I almost got roboted. Ugh. 
Hello. Hello. Yeah, I did it. Just, they're hiding back there, just all by their lonesome. At least I didn't have to do any gliding shenanigans. That was all taken care of. So, yeah, I guess as we complete all the orbs and such in each world, maybe I'll just come back and do a cleanup stream. I'll do one for uh, Autumn... Is it Autumn Plains? I think that's it. Summer Forest, Autumn Plains, Winter Tundra. So I'll do one of that after we finish Autumn Plains in a, uh, a couple of Spyro 2 streams. That'll take at least a couple. That's got eight levels, and we've only done one of them so far. And, you know, there's the jack factor to take into account. Turtle! Am I not turtly enough for the turtle level? Hello, Patrick Star. Hello, other Patrick Star. Hello, baby Patrick Star, who is not a threat, but I will kill you anyway. And you, Shock Shockman. The Shockmaster. That's some kind of pro wrestling thing, if you're not familiar with the Shockmaster. Again, same voice as Inspector Claw and Grand Fisher, and as we found out earlier, Uka Uka from, from uh, Crash Bandicoot. It's all the same thing. Gems. Hello. Oh, Gem. No, I wanted you. Get back up. Get your get your ass back up there. Get your ass up there. Your dragon ass. I think people are racist against dragons. You think there's anti-dragon racism in the Spyro universe? I mean, obviously, Ripto hates dragons, but... That seems more fear-based, and it's, it's a lot more common for people to fear dragons. Like, I wonder if there are, uh, I wonder if there are, like, dragons are the inferior race kind of groups. You know, shit like that, that obviously shouldn't happen, but, uh, I mean, it's out there, sad to say. It, it like, that would be a, uh, that would be a very dumb... Even more so than usual, a very dumb hate group, just by like self-preservation logic, because you don't want to you don't want to piss off dragons. They're not they're they're not pushovers. Except this one, who can apparently not beat a baby starfish with scuba gear and a and a sand shovel. Turns out Spyro's kind of a bitch. All right, kill the starfish. Get ah oh, smacked again. Oh, a meteor smashed me. Yeah, die. Go die in the water. Then again, he is uh, he is flaming enemies in water, so it's kind of an uphill battle for him. It's a little unfair to judge negatively. How many do I need? Where am I at? Ten more. Okay, get out of here. I don't know why I didn't even consider charging them. Let's check up here. I think I know where they are. I think I remember. They're in a little bit of a bullshit spot. Hello. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm inter I shouldn't interrupt the fanfare. And now, Aquarius Tower. How much of my low voices get through on this microphone from this far away? I've suddenly turned into Sean Connery. It's never a bad time to be Sean Connery. It's a very fun voice to do. Oh my. My, oh my. Christopher Lee is here now. I mean, it's just, it's fun to do deep voices. Very fun. But I have to get, uh, 
I have to get ASMR distance from the microphone in order to do them. You, you think there's Spyro ASMR out there? It's gotta be. It's gotta exist. If there's Funky Kong ASMR, then there's Spyro ASMR. And Sandy will buy the shit out of it. I know where at least a big portion of the gems are. There's going to be a lot missing in this level. Yeah, 177. So, uh, I know where a lot of those are. There's going to be some stragglers that I have to hunt down. Them, uh, them kind of pitiful crabs on land can't do a lot. They just kind of fall apart. And again, they do that underwater, too. Not, not a, not a enviable existence, the Spyro Crab. And here we see the wild Robo Sharks! Why? I didn't mean to jump in there. I was trying to... I pressed triangle to zoom in and I forgot I had to hold it. I just tapped it. That was all I did. Thank God I came out of that alive. Jumped into the shark tank. I almost made a really bad business deal. Alright, fill her up! Up, up, up! Come on! I got places to be! Dragons gotta make a living underwater. More, uh, you got that Robo Shark pit. Thankfully, even with the level flooded and them having full mobility, they stay to their little hidey hole. Very, very fortunate for us. Alright, get him. Go back for him. No. Gotcha. And one more. Crabs on the ceiling! Got him. All right, money bags, more robo sharks to get p past other robo sharks. Oh, come on, get in the thing, Spyro. Spyro. Oh, I have to talk to him. I can't just hop in. How gracious of you not to charge me again. Must have to do with the fact that there's a finite amount of money in this game. Talk about economic scarcity. If the amount of currency is so so limited that one person can collect all of it. This is a world where currency is not an abstraction. It is not a number. It is a physical representation of gems and only gems. The one true currency. Here's, here's where the searching comes about. Some There are some areas behind towers are the ones that come to mind in terms of spots where it's easy to miss gems. Come on, you fucker. I'm gonna get crabs. There we go. The crusty crab is no more. I found out at the Tom Kenny panel that... Uh, all you uh, Spongebob fans out there. That, uh, the Krusty Krab Pizza episode where he does the, Spongebob does the song. And then partway through, at the very end, he breaks into a, uh, like, Soul Man voice. And it's just in total contrast to the regular Spongebob. That is still Tom Kenny doing the, like, the soul singing. I thought that was cool. Die, sharks. I got firepower now. I'm gonna steal your treasure. Sp Spyro the pirate. This is a weird this is a weird thought, I suppose, but it's Spyro's a really good name for a character. It sounds like it could be a name, but it's not. Like it's totally unique, not from anywhere else. But it's got that name feel to it. Like someone could name their kid that. Which is good. It's a good trait to have. That's the ideal name for a memorable character name, I think. Which, I guess, you know, Sonic's kind of like that, too. Sonic, I think Sonic is a good mascot name. I think they did, they did good in the name, in the name department for Sonic.
Arrow the Acrobat, maybe slightly less so. Not a lot of dudes named Arrow who aren't on the uh, on the CW. All right, so I got the two uh, the two shark hives. There's got to be. I'm gonna I'm gonna scour the rest of this area down here before I go up to the surface, quote unquote, because I know there's at least one area where there's like a arch behind a tower. Here, here we go. There you are, you little you little fuckers. I knew you were there. I knew you were hiding. <clears throat> Alright, then we can go back. Up, 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 up. To how many do we have left? 75. And go and get zapped. Zapped. Okay. Now the big, the op open world gaming. Spyro. <coughs> you know, when you think about it, open world doesn't mean a whole lot. Like, the difference between an open world game and a non-open world game is that the map is bigger. There's still a map. There's still edges. It's still finite. It's just, how big is the map? It's Hyrule in Ocarina of Time versus Skyrim. Skyrim is called open world. Ocarina of Time isn't because the map is slightly smaller. Is the, that's, that's the difference. Okay, we got it all. Oh, well, that went that went better than anticipated. All right, so that's we already got the hub world, and that's all of those. So sixteen oh six treasure. We're doing. Oh, I made this. Uh, he would have had enough gems anyway, but I may. I guess I kind of slightly interfered with Jack's currency. Now he has enough for any money bags purchase, doesn't he? So, uh, I'm gonna head back to Autumn Plains. How long have we been going for? Has it even been an hour? It has. Oh, yeah, it's, well, just under two hours. I've noticed while streaming that people seem to start showing up just around the two-hour mark when we're finishing up, which is a shame, but I mean, we, we work full-time. We can't really stream for, like, six to eight hours a day. That's not, just not an option. Sorry. I wish we could. I wish we could uh, make enough doing things that we like to do to uh, do more of it. But for the time being, it's just, it is what it is. We stream when we can, and which together isn't as often. I need to do more solo streams. I need to, uh, hello, Woodpecker. I need to take some more of uh, my days where I'm off and Jack is working to do streams, which I'm going to try to do games like uh, Minecraft is going to be now and then, that'll be starting. Uh, Crash 3 is going to continue, and I'm going to start the Shantae series solo pretty soon. I don't know how soon, but soon. Coming soon, TM. So, but that's it for today's stream, tonight. It's uh, 8.30 here, Battleground. As you can see, that it's gotten very slightly darker since the start of the Crash stream. So, I'm signing off. Thanks for watching, guys, any of you guys who were watching. Appreciate it, as I always do. And uh, I'll see you next time in my ASMR Sean Connery. Bye-bye.